Been waiting on this package for a little while actually. So let's get this open. So just a couple of things, just a nice little small package today. But one is, oh, focus, you know you want to focus on it, focus. Okay, it's not focusing, screw that. So it's new, new micro SD card for the drone because at the moment I couldn't find it anywhere. None of the shops that stock these are open yet. So I've been having to take it out of my camera, put it into the drone, take that up, fly it around, bring it back down, put the SD card back in the camera. And it's a pain, it's a nightmare. I've got shaky hands and I fumble a lot. So this was much needed, it saves a lot of time. And then I got Foundation and Empire. One of the Isaac Asimov books. I'm just about to finish the first book. Why aren't you focusing today? And I love it. I absolutely love his books. I think they're great. Um, interesting concept, interesting ideas. And yeah, second one in the series. Right, so this week been stuck inside. Look at this weather. Actually, can you? It looks a bit overexposed. No, that's worse. Basically, it's really nice weather at the moment. So, it's Friday evening. There's not much else to do because everything is still relatively closed. So, might as well go to the beach, get some shots, see how we go. get moving now it's starting to get pretty chilly it's the thing with scotch summer it only stays nice for a little bit and it's crazily unpredictable so time to move on time to get these goosebumps gone see where we get off to and look at that look at that there's a great big dirty rain cloud on its way it's so great apparently it's supposed to be thunder and lightning tomorrow so cannot wait so this is the drone I've been learning to use. This is the DJI Mavic Mini. Now, obviously this is for the DJI, DJI section? Yeah, for the DJI drones, this is kind of the more hobbyist drone. This is the smallest drone they have at 249 grams. And honestly, it's so light, about 90% of it, if I take it out, 90% of this is simply just the battery. Now if you compare the sizes, it's like just completely hollow. I don't know if you can see, probably not see in there, but basically it's just a single uh, PCB board with this on the side and then camera on a gimbal inside. Now this does shoot 
It does claim 4K, but apparently only shoots up to two, two and a half K. But either way, I tend to keep it on um, just full HD, just because you do get that 50 frames a second, which allows some sort of slow motion at least. Now, I absolutely been using it for a tiny while now, and for the most part, it's okay. A lot of it's just getting used to it, because obviously it's so compact. There's just a little, little tips and tricks just in it, just to obviously save on size. So not all the, not all the legs go out the same way. Some come under and some come to the side, and obviously that's just space saving, so you can get it into a smaller area. And the drone itself is absolutely tiny. Like honestly. It's almost ridiculous compared to what drones used to be like. It's just so small. Um, the only, you've got two light sensors on the bottom, which obviously help for landing and keeping away if you're accidentally gonna land on something um, accidentally. But the only thing I don't like is that it doesn't have sensors on either side. So if you are going to crash into something, if you're going straight into something, you are more than likely going to crash this, unfortunately. And the other thing I don't quite like is these aren't covered up, so you can't particularly do wet weather. You can do windy weather, but wet's not ideal, because obviously you've got charging port here, and then this is for your micro SD. Now, I really don't like this being exposed. Obviously, water gets in, not only do you ruin the drone, but you ruin your SD card as well. So that's that. Now after playing for it with it for a little while, obviously I am brand new to drones so I'm about the biggest noob you can get with this and I have to admit this is a fantastic little device to use. It's got a lot of give for people who aren't quite how you would say confident or co competent with what they're using. Uh, it's got a lot of gifts, so if you're going too fast forward, when you go to stop, it does stop relatively quickly. There's not that much floating between when you stop and how much almost skidding the gliding the drone does. It's fairly reactive and can stop fairly accurately when you want it to. It can move quite fast, it can move quite slow. The three point gimbal, three axis gimbal on the camera if I take this off, works surprisingly superbly well. Uh, I've obviously been just running this rugged and all the footage surprisingly comes out fairly easily, quite professional looking and that's great, especially for an amateur like myself where it's just, you're, the access to entry is just so small, it's absolutely fantastic. It's great just whether you're just driving it about, running it rugged, whether you're a professional photographer, just all access. It allows everyone to enter kind of the photography and the film drone empire on the same belt. It kind of levels it out a little bit. And yeah, it's good. It's good. The only thing I don't like, I don't know if it's only just for the Mini or if it's for the Air and the Pro as well, but it's always needing calibrated. Um, I hadn't really had the issue so much, but it became very apparent today. Just every every five to 10 minutes, it's at the moment coming up with an error, saying the compass needs recalibrated, or there's a problem with he heavy high winds uh, when you get up to a certain point. I haven't found so, so many issues. Apparently it can go up to, I think it's 40 or 50 kilometer winds, but when I had it today, I actually needed to put it onto sport mode. It was a little windy, but nowhere near 40 kilometers an hour, and I still had to put it on sport mode just to get it back to myself, because it was just, it was just getting pushed away, and that is most likely one of the disadvantages with being so light. So just with that light wind, it does make you a little, it is a little disconcerting, so they claim it can do more, but obviously as it gets higher, it's gonna take more effort to bring it back to yourself, which means a lack in battery life, but in terms of for just a small hobby toy, it's absolutely fantastic. Only thing it does miss, which is becoming more and more common on drones now, is the follow me function. Now this is a fantastic little 
uh, asset to any drone where you can set it whether it's to yourself or to a moving car or any sort of moving object and have the drone follow it no matter what distance and then you can have it loop, loop around the object, follow it around, pan out, pan in. It's just fantastic for a more dynamic shot moving in or out for your uh, for your recordings but unfortunately this one doesn't do it which is a real shame actually because for a hobbyist drone it will be most likely hobbies for people who want to follow something or experiment or at least an access way into the more professional drones um, and that because you can get it on the better drones it would have been ideal to have it on this because then it gets you experience with it before you transition up but I guess because this drone is actually fairly fairly good for what it is is they needed some reason to get you to buy the pro version so if they gave you all the features on this very few people will go for the more expensive drones but yeah this is the this is the Mavic Mini how dramatic does that dark background look it looks ace alright I'm gonna stop it there so this is what I used to film that shot of the Mavic Mini it's literally just a little mic stand with a little come on with a oh it's really not liking me tonight basically it's just a small jack that you can then put your camera onto rather than a, a rather than a mic that, that's literally all it is whole setup cost me I don't know 30, 30, 40 quid oh, and most of the mic stands for this go for about I don't know 80 to 140 so you're saving yourself a good bit of money it does the exact same thing it's not glorious or glamorous at some point I swear I do actually have lighting in here it just it's just not good in the evenings we'll we'll need to change that <laughs>